Hello fans, viewers and subscribers who are joining me, Ruku, for another beer review. And today, obviously, I know I'm publishing this a little bit earlier, because I'm meant to be having a month off. But uh, we got a, a request from Militant Anarchist, who wanted me to review Asahi, which is from Japan. Now, for my eagle-eyed viewers, you would notice that I've already reviewed this a little while ago, probably about a year, maybe two ago. So I'm going to be revisiting it just for the fan, uh, Militant Anarchist, who, uh, who kindly asked me to review this, so uh, how could I say no, really? Before I start, I'm just going to top myself up. I'm just going to come in, so you just can see a bit of the pour there. Go. So about there we'll do the job. Right then, so Asahi, here it is. Asahi comes from Japan and uh, actually means rising sun. So when you translate the kanji there, that uh, means rising sun. That there is for the foreigners. So there's two different languages, as Japan has about four different writing styles because they're complicated like that. Um, Asahi then, I've had this many times and uh, drunk it a lot of times in the past. There's the cap for any enthusiasts, bears the name Asahi with the katakana writing. Sticking that to one side. So this then is a 660ml as you can just see. And it comes in at 5% which is on the front if I can get it. There you go, right on the front there. So, Militant Anarchist want me to review this because he bought some from his local store and uh, wanted me to basically review this, so that's exactly what I'm going to do for him. So, Militant, if you're watching, hopefully you'll enjoy this review and uh, cheers, buddy. Right, let's get on with this, shall we? Because I love a bit of Asahi myself. I'm very partial to it. Don't drink it enough, as I should. Straight away, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but you got it's very hard to pick it up on this camera because this beer is so clear but there is shit loads of streaming bubbles you if I do that you can probably see them better you just see that if I keep still for a minute you can see just how bubbling that is that is what we call great carbonation uh, the color is very very clear as you can see hold it up to the light a little bit and you know you can see for it that's how clear it is Again, just a little demonstration, you can see my hand going through. So straight away what grabs me is nice clean beer. It looks presentable. The head um, of the frothy foam variety, so uh, looking good. Bit messy in places, but nevertheless. Always like a decent hit on a beer. Right, on with the smells. Okay, that's interesting. Straight away, I've got a nose for um, corn. So I've got like this corn smell coming in. Um, very, very good. Um, it's different, but it's quite fresh. There's a slight... There's a slight hint there of barley. And to me, what really stands out other than the... Uh, the other smells is the fact that I can smell some form of rice. I don't know if there's actually rice in this, so I'm going to check in a minute on the ingredients, see if I can dig that out. Because for those that don't know, I don't actually check the bottom, uh, the back of the bottles, shall I say, before testing these beers. I just jump straight in there. Everything you see recorded is as it is, so I don't, you know, I don't cheat in any which way. But yeah, I'm getting different smells of corn, barley, and what smells like rice, maybe a little bit of citrus. I'm just going to go ahead and cheat. Funnily enough, it doesn't actually tell you anything. It just tells you about the beer and its pronunciations, rising sun, when translated. Uh, just says it's all made from natural ingredients. So if it is, then I'll be one happy bunny. Just before I get on with the taste, a little bit of information I'd just like to get out there. This uh, Asahi is actually brewed here in England uh, in a place called Shepherd Neem. So if you've not been there, 
go check it out. And for all my American and Canadian viewers, which I know there's shed loads of you guys, in Canada, it's also brewed by the Molson factory. So Molson, Canada. So there you go. Just thought I'd get that little bit of information in there. So here we go to the taste. My eyes water because it's so cold. You can see that I've gone, gone red eyeing in that. Um, strong, strong flavours there of uh, corn. And uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's the barley kicking in actually. Let me just go in for a second go. Yeah, I'd definitely say that's the barley. So barley um, and rice dominate this purely. Interestingly, despite the name suggesting dry, uh, I don't I don't consider this as a dry beer. It says that they're dry. Uh, I don't think this is a dry beer at all. It's not dry on the finish. It's not really leaving you, you know, really really wanting, you know, some water or something afterwards. <coughs> There you go. If I burp, it's a sign of a good beer. Um, it's got a little bit of dryness to it, but not as the name suggests. And I think they're really hitting home on that with the bottle as it stands out in big red letters saying it's like, was it super dry? Now, I don't think it is super dry at all. It's dry, but not dry as we know dry. Um, it's more crisp dry, and it gives you a sharp deliverance there uh, on the tongue as well in the mouthfeel. It's quite watery bodied, but arguably, if you can overlook the uh, sharp and, and dry finish there, it's arguably quite refreshing. The head is very slim. Um, don't get much in the way of the head. Um, Sort of disperses quickly, I guess, and you don't really get much of taste of that. But uh, what I might actually do is I might just rally this up just so that I can get a bit of head. So this may backfire. Let's do this. Easy does it. Just going to get a bit of a head on that because I really want to taste this head, and I'm sure, uh, militant, you've you've probably tasted through the head of this before, so uh, I'm going to join you. Hmm, decent. Um, head is very foamy, frothy. To me, I, I got, um, it's going to sound really strange, don't know if you're going to agree with me here, but when drinking through the head, it kind of makes the beer a tiny bit sweeter on first appearance and, and taste. So the minute it goes in your mouth, I just get a little bit of sweetness that dies straight off. It's kind of like a little teaser almost, as if they're playing with you. Um, don't know if that comes from the head there, but definitely changes the whole body of the beer and the way that you perceive the taste. So array of flavours there, mostly dominated by corn and rice. But other than that, a very nice gentle beer, ideal for sushi, so if you're a sushi lover or a sashimi lover, go for it, try it, why not, I've done it many a time. Um, and I can also say that uh, when you're having sushi with this, obviously do choose your sushi carefully, um, because not all sushis go with this, but uh, there you go, top tip for you. Um, yeah, I'm going to score this, oh, just forgot, there's your lacing, nearly forgot that one. I don't know if you can see that, but that is stuck firmly to the glass. <coughs> if I burp, it's a sign of a good beer. Stuck firmly around, lacing all the way around. Uh, very good indeed. So, on with the scoring. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to give this... Uh, I'm going to give it an 8.5. It's not bad. Um, Flavours are okay. Body's great. Head's good. Lacing's good. 
it's clean, it's clear, it's natural, good. So, yeah, for that reason, that's why I'm scoring it that. So, yeah, great beer overall. Would highly recommend it to a lot of people. So, thank you, Militant Anarchist, for the uh, shout-out and the request there. So, I've rather enjoyed drinking this, so I'm now going to fuck off and drink some more of this. So, yeah, thanks. And uh, remember, fans, viewers, if you also want something reviewing just like Militant Anarchist, then don't forget to uh, get in touch with me. Just send me some comments below on the beer that you may or may not want reviewing, or tell me your thoughts on Asahi Dry. Maybe you have had Asahi Dry in the past. Tell me what you think of it. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, fans, viewers, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, join me next time when I'll be reviewing some more beers. So, cheers. Thanks for watching.